What's going on guys? My name is Joey Franzo with Flux Training Systems and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking a little bit about me and what my um, plans, mindset, goals I guess are uh, coming uh, coming into the Arnold Pro American um, meet. Uh, it is an IPF meet uh, which is a little bit different than you know regular meets. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to take something away from this. With that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so um, we are just under four weeks out from the Arnold Pro American competition. Um, at the Arnold, it is my first Pro American. Last year I did the Raw Challenge. Um, the only difference this time is that one is an IPF meet. Um, the other one is not, I guess. Um, uh, the Pro American is historically a uh, much more competitive meet. Uh, to even do it, you have to have a 500 Wilkes. I got in, I don't have a 500 Wilkes, um, but I got in because uh, they emailed me and they said we have um, a lot of people on Friday and we want to move some guys over to Saturday. Would you be down to move? And I said, sure. Um, uh, so, you know, I mean, it, it seemed like a great opportunity and a fun uh, thing to do at the time. Um, but there are a couple things that came up, you know, now getting closer to the meet that I'm, um, you know, just trying to deal with. And one of those things being is I have like 10 people competing at this meet, which is crazy because uh, last year I just had uh, me, my girlfriend, Sean, so my son, and then my other son, Luke. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, this year I have uh, way more people under me and, and it's great and it's, it's, uh, kind of cool to uh, you know especially some of these guys even girls too you know that they started with me saying hey Joey I would like to do the Arnold one day and you know we're not even close to that like the the requirements and uh, we just do our best train hard um, try not to get hurt and and uh, now you know this last nationals um, some of the guys that are with me for like 18 months uh, they're strong enough now to actually qualify for this meet, um, so that's really awesome. And just to see them progress over the over the months and the years is uh, it's really rewarding, um, really, really, really rewarding. And um, some of them even got invited to Worlds, which is like that's like every kid that emails me that like when I say you know what are your goals like to do IPF Worlds one day. So to be able to to help somebody achieve that uh, really means a lot to me. So got 10 people competing. It's about five and five, um, or f six and four, I believe, as far as like where pe what day people are competing. You guys know that when I cut to 105, I do pretty big cuts, right? The most I've cut is seven kilos. Right now I'm sitting like six kilos over. Um, so I can do it. I'm, I'm like, there's no doubt in my mind I can make weight. Uh, I just need to have what I need to have uh, in order to do it. Um, the issue is, that on Saturday when I would lift, um, or when I would weigh in, so like I usually sauna just before I weigh in. When I would be in the sauna, uh, a bunch of my lifters would be competing on the platform and you know, my girlfriend would be competing and that's like, I don't think I'd be able to, able to deal with, you know, just, I'd feel shitty if I was like in the sauna trying to make, you know, making weight for me, like being selfish. Um, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, you have to be selfish at times, um, but just like when I think about myself, uh, like how, how am I impacting people, how am I impacting uh, this, you know, community, um, and I think I'm way more influential as a coach uh, and a, um, kind of like as a figure versus like as a lifter. I have great lifters, you know, I can, they'll, they'll, they're going to inspire people. I mean, obviously, I've come a long, long way, I've made like ridiculous like I've made appreciable progress, you know. Uh, uh, you don't put, you know, f over 400 pounds on your total and, and not be proud of that. Um, and in the time span that I've done it, and uh, I just want to, I want to be able to take care of everyone at the same time. I would love to lift at 105. Um, so if I, I would have to try to make 105 and avoid the sauna, or like somehow find a way to get to a sauna Saturday morning at like 4 a.m., which is like really unrealistic uh, given that a lot of the gyms out there 
Um, they don't open till later, and like as far as I know, there's no 24 hour fitness. If I go 120, I can help everyone. I can help everybody on Friday. I'm probably not gonna be doing any bar loading or anything, but I can uh, call their numbers and make sure that everybody hits what they can hit for the day. And then on my day, in the first session, um, I can take care of, uh, you know, those people that need me and then I can lift uh, in my session. Um, they still have not announced when I will be uh, weighing in, but based on all the information that we have uh, in the past, it's probably going to be two sessions. It is going to be two sessions. And I'm probably going to be weighing in, you know, probably when the smaller people are deadlifting. So, you know, that's something to consider. I want to be there for my people, but at the same time, I want to do well. Um, if I go 105, as far as like PRs, I don't need to do much. Um, I've gotten substantially, substantially stronger, especially in the squat on, uh, you know, and all I have to do like is make weight and hit like my second attempt on squat and then I'll pretty much hit all my seconds and I'll hit a pretty good Wilkes PR. You know, when I, I'm, I'm not gonna go less than eight for nine. That's, that's something that I'm pretty confident uh, with and, um, if I were to do that, which is most likely what's going to happen, at least, uh, other than nine for nine, then I'll have a very nice Wilkes PR, probably somewhere in the almost 480, um, and that's cool. That's gonna be that's awesome. Uh, that'd be really cool for me to hit. Um, at the same time, um, I think I could hold the L, as they say, take take the loss, and just say, you know what. I'm going at 120, I'll, I'll, my goals would shift then. I would try to probably squat close to, I would love to hit uh, 666. My 650 is pretty smooth last meet. Um, and you know, just hitting that 666 would be awesome. Uh, if you guys know Gino, he goes crazy. Um, and when he announces, you know, that, that number, he has like a whole speech. Um, and then for bench, I would love to bench three reds and a blue. <laughs> Just like seeing that on the bar, the it's for uh, 215 kilos, 474. That'd be awesome. And then deads, like pff, I just like want to hit my opener and then not bomb out. I'll be I'll be cool with that. Um, and then and then go go chill with everyone at night. That'd be awesome. Um, so the 120 route is uh, probably the smarter route, but I've um, I do I've usually done well in the past when I put a lot of pressure on myself to just make shit happen. Uh, it kind of brings out the best in me, um, uh, and and part of the, part of me is like just go try to go 105 and do what you got to do. The only thing is in an IPF meet, if you don't make weight, that's it. You don't lift. You're done. Um, so that would be really shitty to not make weight uh, or just barely miss it. Uh, at the same time, you know my girlfriend's lifting, which is like. Just handling her alone is more stressful than coaching like 25 people plus at nationals. Um, <laughs> so there's that. That's like the main the main thing that I'm uh, I'm you know on the fence with. And um, reg regardless of whatever I decide, um, I'm gonna have a good time. Everybody's gonna kill it, and it's going to be awesome. You know, seeing a lot of you guys out there. Um, I'm leaning more towards going 120. But uh, I'm going to gather more information over this coming weekend and I will have a better idea of what resources I will have available to me that should uh, make my weight cut much easier. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you have to consider everything when you come into these big meets. You have to decide if it's actually worth it to, uh, you know, make the cut or just go up uh you have to consider travel you have to consider other responsibilities other things that are going on are you going to have access to what you need to make your cut work but a lot of you guys have been asking me um to do like a kind of in-depth weight cut video and i will um i'll just base it off me and what i do and then um you guys can kind of pick and choose uh, from that and and try to apply it to yourself but uh i think it'd be a cool thing to do um after breaking a thousand subscribers we're getting really close um and i've just been you know myself been pretty casual about it and uh and and we're growing and part of that has to do with you guys dropping them likes and i really appreciate it seriously uh, the guys that tune in, everybody that drops a comment or, you know, just shows any sort of love in any way, I really appreciate it. Um, 
this has been a pretty awesome rewarding journey and uh and sometimes even like a journey that i can't even describe just because the crazy shit that goes on and i want to keep uh keep getting up there and i think as time goes on the bigger we grow the more i will be able to do um so i hope you know you guys enjoyed this video kind of a more chill video um, I just finished benching. Uh, if you guys are looking at this, you probably already saw the bench press uh, kind of vlog uh, where I take you guys through my bench training um, at the top of the week. Yep, just under four weeks out. Um, it's gonna be a good one. Uh, thank you to everybody that picked up a shirt, um, a competition tee, sweater, all that good stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you guys, you guys might see, you know, I'm always wearing like these kind of weird designs. Let me see if we have it on the back. Can you see that? Flex Comics. Uh, Flexcomics.com. Um, the code will be in the description. If you guys have any ideas uh, for new videos, uh, any questions regarding anything that you think I, I might be able to make a cool video about, go ahead and drop that in the comments below. Um, alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.